Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I am gonna explain digital electronics paper of TSEZ 2020. They comprises of only 8 marks, but still every single mark is very important in EZ. So go thoroughly through the DE. DE. I promise it's a very scoring subject. Now let's move to our first question. The output of NOR gate is. For this kind of questions, you must have to draw the truth table and check the suitable options. Let's draw the truth table. Here is the truth table. Now let's cross check with this. High if all the inputs are high. If all inputs are high, the output should be also high. Here we have high input, but we have low input. So this this is a wrong. So this is wrong. Now let's check with a uh, high of all its inputs are low. It says that when all inputs are low, the output is high. Here uh, inputs are low and the output is high. Yes, it's true. So it's a correct option. Coming to third option. Here low if all inputs are low. If all inputs are low, then output should be also low. But it's we got a high output. So it's a false. Next. If, uh, low if all inputs are high. Low. If all inputs are high, yes, it's true. Here the option two options are correct. You can give any option. So if you can give any option, you will get a correct you will get score. Now let's move to the next question. A four variable kernel map contains dash cells. K map is one of the most important concepts in DE. In, in this question, we can solve it in two ways. First, using the formula. That is, if we have n variable, n variables, then the uh, number of cells is 2 power n. It's like example. If we have n, n equals to 2, it means we have two variables. Then the answer uh, it is 2 power 2. It means 2 power 2, 4. Let's take n equals to 3. 2 power 3. It, it, is, it, it is 8. And to power uh, and it, uh, in this example it is 4 it is done and as 2 power 4 16 this is the correct option if you don't remember formula you can go for drawing a k map uh, for four variable and count the cell number of cells in them and now let's move to our next question f of f equals to in x y z plus x uh, x bar y z plus x y bar z and continues is called as dash sum of the squares product of the sums sum of products products of the squares first we have to understand the difference between sop and pos it, which means sum of products and products of sums sum of products sop SOP sum of products it means we are summing the products which means it is also known as we are adding the multiplied, multiplied values it is like 1 into 2 plus 3 3 into 4 this is sum of products now POS. This POS is like 
we are uh, summing we are pro producting the sums it's like 1 plus 2 into 3 plus 4 this is what the difference and if you see the question here multiplication is done x for the x y z multiplication is done and then they are added so it becomes sum of products now let's move to our next question kmap is a tool for representing bool boolean functions for of up to dash variables actually after four variables it is not good to use kmaps because it takes a lot of time as well as confusing but still it can be possibly used up to six variables so the correct op so the correct option might be the six now let's get into our next question it, the question is given as here it is given a binary number and it is asked to uh, convert into xs3 xs3 is nothing but we have to the add this 3 to this binary number in a specific manner how uh, here we will see how it is converted the question is given 1011001 this is what it is given Let, uh, first we have to convert this into decimal let's convert it 1 2 3 oh sorry 1 2 4 8 16 32 64 let's add this 1 1 plus it is 8 plus 16 plus 64 we will get a 89 we, uh, 6 plus 4 10 9 89 here we will get 89 and what we have to do is here it is given as 3 so we have to divide this like 8 and 9 and we have to add this number plus 3 plus 3 we get it here 11 and here we will get 12 now we have to add this number these both numbers now we will get 23 now we have here not we have to sum here we have to convert directly these numbers 11 and 12 as 11 11 is 11 binary number is 1 0 1 1 and 12 binary number is 1 1 0 0 this is what it is given and we have to combine this it becomes 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 let's cross check it 1 0 double 1 1 0 double 1 it is not the option 1 0 double 1 no 1 0 double 1 let's check the remaining one, double 1 double 0 yes this is the correct option if it is given with different number we have to do with this with different values if it is uh, of 4 bit only then we can directly add plus 3 and convert it and we will get the output if we have more than if we are uh, having 12 bit we have to add 3 times as with 3 div uh, different uh, uh, additions now let's move to our next question here it is given a here it is given a decimal value and asked to convert into a uh, six hexadecimal. In this kind of questions, we have to first convert this decimal value into binary value. Let's convert it. After after conversion into binary, we get this, and now we have to convert this into hexadecimal. Here we will use a simple technique. Uh, that uh, makes it easy to convert 
add binary into hexadecimal it's very simple that we have to take from right to left four four digits uh, as this and if we have like this you can add, add a zero at the end and if we take this it becomes here it is two so it becomes two it is one two four eight eight plus three so it eight plus three is twelve so it's b so eight plus three is eleven so it's b the answer and here it is one two four it is five the answer is 5b2 and the option is correct and if we want to convert in, into the octal we shall use only we can do this as 3 3 digits as this you can you then you will get the octal octal number okay now let's move to our next question The question is the two complement form of the number 1010 is. Two's complement is a very simple process. It consists of only two steps. First step complement them mean, means convert zeros into ones and ones in, into zeros. And second step is add one bit to the complemented number. Now we will see this example. One zero. 10 is given. Now we have to complement this. We will get 0, 1, 0, 1. Here we are just complementing it. Okay. Now let's add one bit at the right end, rightmost end. It becomes 0, 1 over here, 10. It means 2. 2 binary is 10. So it is like this 1. 1 plus 0, 1 and here 1 and here it is 0 0 double 1 0 here is the option the option is correct second option is correct to make it a bit complex they may ask they may give a decimal number or any other number and ask to com uh, ask to complement so be sure of converting the numbers now let's move to our next final question Assume a equals to 60 of 60 decimal value. Calculate a bar a tilt a of binary. It is a very simple and tricky question. We are given a equals to 60 and asked to calculate a complement. A complement in binary. This tilt symbol is you uh, mentions represents the complement complication. No. Now let's try this. First, we have to convert this into the binary binary digits. If we convert this binary into a binary digits, we get this as one 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 zero zero, and make it a uh, as it uh, it is having one two six bits. Convert into into a eight bit. Before uh, uh, complementing any number, we have to convert into either, either 4 bit or 8 bit or wa whatever the bit it is near to, greater than greater bit it is near to. In this case, it is 6 bit, so we are converting it into 8 bit. So it becomes 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. Now we shall complement it. It, then it becomes 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. After complement, converting it into a, complementing it, we, uh, we shall see with the option, double one, double zero. It is not matching, double one, double zero, it is not matching, double one, double zero, it is not matching. Here double one double zero double zero double one as it's matching. So this is the correct option. And finally, if you see that questions are very simple and perfect, uh, be perfect in converting of numbers because 
more than uh, three to five uh, three to five questions are asked on numbers and two questions on k maps and some in uh, and one question of uh, some of products or products of sums so the concepts are very simple asked and conversions are very easy but some are very uh, some are tricky so guys be perfect with your uh, with the questions and answers mm, all the best guys if you find this uh, video helpful like share and subscribe <laughs> thanks and i'll stay